Hello and welcome to China Media Stars. I'm your host, Wei Li. I have Yi Wang Ye with me today. And Yi Wang is the CEO and, and founder of QX Media. Welcome to the show, Yi Wang. Thank you very much to give me this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. And you're going to share with us some of your fascinating experiences working in media industry, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> so a bit of background information about you. So you studied TV directing in Shanghai University. And after that, you worked in Shanghai Media Group as the chief director. And you direct and produce numerous videos uh, for some very well-known companies. <laughs> so and then later on, you founded uh, QX Media. So I'm interested to know that because from the university up to now, you've always been working in the media. Uh, you seem really know what you wanted since the start. Because for some people, it's really hard to find a career direction. So how did you feel that strong connection with media? And you know that's what you wanted to do in your career? Yes. Thank you for asking this question. <laughs> okay. When I was very young, when I was just a, a little girl, I. I like singing. All I right. like to draw the pictures. Okay. Yes. So I think that at that moment, I think my career have some relationship with media. Okay. And uh, another thing is, I'm very happy when I started in a university. Yeah. I made the very uh, right decision to change my major uh, to uh, directing for film and uh, TV program. Oh, film and TV program. Yes. So it's uh, like a childhood dream come true, finally. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. So later on, you joined, uh, you founded QX Media. So when was that? When After that, I, I live in the Shanghai Media Group. And I started uh, my own company, uh, Qingxing Media. And uh, yeah, now uh, its age is uh, five years. Oh, five years. So you worked in Shanghai Media Group for more than five years as well. Yes. So now I'm very old. <laughs> 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 so I guess I believe it's a great platform to really show your talent in TV directing, mm -hmm. and you produced some really good TV program in there. Can you share with us about you know the program you produced in there, produced and directed in there? <laughs> exactly. Um, I directed in many different TV programs. Okay. One of them uh, named uh, Digital Globe. Okay. It's about the IT uh, reporting about the IT industry. All right. So it's like uh, more than ten about ten years ago. Okay. I interview a lot of the CEO from the uh, from the different IT company. So at that moment, the IT company is a very some of it is a small company, uh -huh. yeah. But until now, they grow very, very well. Uh, like Baidu, uh, like okay. the one six three one E, and and hot sales. So some founder and the CEO from that company mm -hmm. become my friend. Uh -huh. So that's very interesting. Yeah. It's like uh, I'm the witness uh, for a successful uh, business for them. Yeah, you, you will look how did they grow. And, yes. yeah. <laughs> and I very enjoy to listen to their successful story. I like to interview them. So after we making friends to each other, yeah. so I can continue to uh, hear their successful story. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yes. And the story is also interesting and uh, very helpful in my life also. All right. Yeah. I always like to, to thinking about why this kind of people can be successful. So I think I get some answer from them. Yeah, you learn from their life experiences. Yes. And <laughs> so today I'm here. I want to share my experience Definitely. with a lot of people. I'm sure it's very helpful for the people who work in the media or who people, uh, people who just started up and wanted to get into media. It's really helpful. <laughs> so that's why you do the TV directing. Tell me, what do you like the most about TV directing? about this industry and what exactly do you need to do for the people who are less familiar with directing job what exactly do you need to do yeah it's a very good question <laughs> okay. yes when we do the directing so that we can uh, realize our the image in our mind mm -hmm. to become true and we can say our Use it, we can use a very special way, uh, like the vision, audio, video, uh, to express and to say what the client want to tell the target uh, 
and to tell are their clients. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so the media is very. How can I say? It's it's like magic. Mm, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's a it's a platform to really show well, express yourself uh, yeah. almost, and the job satisfaction of that is great. <laughs> yeah, so you just can share the things. The thinking you can share the, the thinking with an older people with in uh, with vision with image. It's not just about the language. Yeah, yeah, know. definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how has the experience before contributed to your current role in QX Media? Yeah, as I said before, I interview a lot of successful businessmen yeah, and yeah. women. So, yeah, their story is very helpful mm -hmm. in my whole life. And uh, of course, I get a lot of experience in doing uh, production, video production. Uh, like I know the, uh, when we when we do the post production, post production, we needed to are uh, familiar with the camera, mm -hmm. light, uh, a lot of the equipment uh, for the production, and we needed to. Uh, need to know a lot of software um, in the post-production and now it's a time for uh, from the it's like the HD time comes yeah. so we need to uh, have a more knowledge about that mm -hmm. yeah we need to update our knowledge yeah, about definitely. The high definition. so yeah. after you founded QX Media and um, what kind of service do QX Media do? Yeah we do the horses, uh, our service and it's about uh, we're doing the video production, uh, brochure design, right. and website design, and the branding. All right. Yeah, we also do uh, give event shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we in QXM also have a lot of talented uh, acting uh, actors and actors. Oh, know. okay, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> They're very talented. Yeah. We're always very uh, proud of them. So, based on your own experience working in media. What do you think are the important criteria for people who uh, for people who want to be a good media person? Mm, yes, I think the, a lot of person after they're born, when I was a little girl boy, they think they have the talent in doing media mm -hmm. industry. Uh, but to, to be honest, the fact is, mm, in this in this industry, it's have a lot of competition mm, and it, it's very hard to, for people to go ahead you know and at the beginning the payment in acting is very low yeah. but you also can are uh, can see a lot of people waiting on a queue for some opportunity so you need to make sure you really like media mm -hmm. and uh, if you have some concern if you have some concern you just uh, stop for a while listen to your heart your heart will tell you what it is all right so when you get confused about yourself you don't know if that's the right direction to go mm -hmm. you need to really think ask yourself is that what you wanted yes, <laughs> and stick with your dream maybe yes. <laughs> So with uh, back to QX Media, what are the interesting projects you're working on now at the moment? And uh, now, yeah, we are working for the one healthcare uh, center. Yeah, we're doing the training to their operators. So, uh, and we combine the training and the video production together. So we invited the ICS um, hosters and the. Uh, with my partner Michael, okay. we, yeah, we take the video when they speak, in teaching their uh, English language. So yeah, the operator, the students like it very much yeah. because after their uh, class, they can review the whole thing uh, when they do some homework or something. All right, that's really so, interesting. Yeah, it's very helpful <laughs> for them. Yeah, yeah definitely. So yeah, and uh, the operator will work and uh, doing the expo. Yeah, All right, okay. Yeah. Expo bring a lot of opportunity as well for media company, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the reason the operators need uh, English training mm. because they need it to serve the foreigner coming for Expo. Yeah. All right, okay. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when you mentioned Michael, who I interviewed earlier, it's your partner, and um, because you Michael is from the USA and you're from China, so do you think it's the best way to do uh, to do the partnership in China? You combine Western culture and Chinese culture together. Is it an advantage for you at work? Mm. 
And um, yes, so it's very interesting. The first time that we met Michael because we are doing one promotion video uh. for um, one company called the Solifun. They do the solar panel. And yeah, so yeah, he is a voiceover chosen by our client. Okay. <laughs> yes. So he works very hard and very talented, and his voice and can attract a lot of attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, and he has a lot of interest in media, uh, like it. Acting, modeling, yeah. So he has so many interests in it. Mm -hmm. So we met, uh, we met, and uh, yeah, we asked him, do you want to uh, join the company mm -hmm. to do more media things? Yeah, he agrees. So we start, and uh, yeah. So now you can see our project related to the training. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, uh, some, um, how can I say? Um, because of him, we can get this kind of project. Oh, really? We can combine the training yeah. and the video production together. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. So our knowledge is about the video production. Yeah. But yeah. His knowledge about the lawyer and the um, and the training stuff. Oh, okay. So his background, not just his culture, but his background, also contribute to your company with yes. the growth. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Mm -hmm. um, so, and uh, okay, when we do the project, when we serve our Chinese clients, we can combine the Chinese and the Western perspective, and uh, let things going very well. You know, most of the Chinese clients uh, want to have very uh, international and Western image. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But if uh, you can think in, if the just uh, the Chinese employee uh, to give this kind of service. So it's very hard for them yeah, to yeah. Yeah, get the, the whole idea about the Western world. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. Now we just uh, we, we are very uh, lucky to work with Michael. So yeah, and I think that we really uh, to add the value to our clients. It's a great combination, yes. <laughs> your company. <laughs> so thank you, Ivan, today for <laughs> sharing your experience, and also thanks for the tips for the you know people who get in, want to get into media. It was really helpful. Yeah, <laughs> so <job. laughs> thank so you thanks much. for coming today. <laughs> thank you. This is Wena Lee, and I will see you again next time. Thank you.